Hey everyone, and welcome to the Historical Philosophy Channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of ancient Greek philosophy with Plato's famous allegory of the cave. This mind-bending story isn't just a philosophical exercise, it's a powerful metaphor for understanding our own perceptions of reality. Before we jump into the allegory itself, let's get to know Plato a little better. Plato, one of the most influential philosophers of all time, left an indelible mark on Western thought. Born in Athens around 428 BCE, his life intertwined with the tumultuous politics of ancient Greece. This biography explores his upbringing, his association with Socrates, the founding of the Academy, and his lasting philosophical contributions. Early Life and Influences, 428 BCE to 399 BCE Born into Athenian aristocracy, Plato's family boasted a rich political lineage. Little is known about his childhood, but his education likely included the study of literature, music, and gymnastics, typical for young Athenian men of his class. The Peloponnesian War, 431 BCE to 404 BCE, cast a long shadow over his formative years, shaping his political views and his search for a more just society. Meeting Socrates and the Birth of Dialogue, 399 BCE to 387 BCE. A pivotal moment in Plato's life was his encounter with Socrates, a renowned Athenian philosopher famous for his dialectic method of questioning. Socrates challenged established beliefs through rigorous examination, an approach that deeply impressed Plato. He became a devoted follower, attending Socrates' lectures and learning the art of philosophical inquiry. The execution of Socrates in 399 BCE on charges of impiety deeply affected Plato. He vehemently disagreed with the verdict questioning the Athenian democracy that allowed such a travesty. This event further fueled his desire for a society governed by reason and justice. Travels and the Search for Knowledge, 387 BCE to 380 BCE Following Socrates' death, Plato embarked on a series of travels throughout the Mediterranean world. He visited Egypt, Sicily, and Magna Graecia, southern Italy, encountering different cultures and philosophical schools. These journeys likely serve two purposes, to broaden his knowledge and perhaps to explore alternative forms of government. The Academy, a hub for philosophical discourse, 380 BCE to 347 BCE. Upon his return to Athens around 380 BCE, Plato founded the Academy, the first known institution of higher learning in the Western world. The Academy served as a center for philosophical discussion and debate, attracting students from across Greece. Plato's teachings focused on a wide range of topics, including ethics, politics, metaphysics, and epistemology, theory of forms. One of Plato's most significant contributions to philosophy is his theory of forms. This theory proposes the existence of a realm of perfect forms, the ideal counterparts to the imperfect objects we encounter in the physical world. For example, the physical world contains many chairs, all imperfect representations of the perfect form of the chair existing in the realm of forms. Knowledge, according to Plato, is achieved by accessing these perfect forms through reason, the Republic, a blueprint for a just society. Plato's most famous work, The Republic, is a dialogue exploring themes of justice, politics, and the ideal society. He proposes a tripartite structure for the ideal state, with philosophers as rulers, guardians responsible for defense, and workers providing for the basic needs of society. Justice, according to Plato, is achieved when each class fulfills its role within the state. Later Works and Legacy, 347 BCE to 347 BCE Plato continued to write and teach at the Academy for many years. His later works, such as The Laws and the Symposium, delve deeper into political philosophy, ethics, and the nature of love. Plato died in Athens around 347 BCE at the age of 80. His philosophy, with its emphasis on reason, justice, and the ideal forms, has profoundly influenced Western thought in philosophy, politics, education, and literature. His works continue to be studied and debated today, a testament to his enduring legacy. The allegory begins. Plato presents the allegory of the cave in his work, Republic. Imagine a group of people chained in a cave since birth. All they've ever known is darkness. Behind them burns a fire, and between the fire and the prisoners, people walk carrying objects. These objects cast shadows on the wall in front of the prisoners, which they believe are reality. The Escape to Enlightenment One prisoner breaks free from his chains and climbs out of the cave. Blinded by the sunlight at first, he slowly adjusts and begins to see the world for what it truly is. He sees the real objects that cast the shadows, the fire itself, and eventually, the outside world in all its glory. Back to the cave, 
the burden of knowledge. The escapee returns to the cave to share his newfound knowledge with the other prisoners. But they scoff at him, clinging to their limited perception of reality based on the shadows. The allegory's meaning. The cave, our limited understanding. The cave represents the world of appearances, the limited reality we perceive through our senses. It's all we've ever known, so we must take it for the whole truth. We see objects, hear sounds, feel textures, but these are just interpretations by our brains. The shadows, sensory experience. The shadows on the wall symbolize our reliance on sensory experience. We base our understanding of the world on what we see, hear, and touch. These shadows are limited and incomplete representations of reality. The firelight, reason. The fire inside the cave represents reason. Just as fire illuminates the cave, allowing the prisoner to see the objects casting the shadows, reason allows us to critically examine our sensory experiences. It helps us understand the underlying causes and connections that create the world we perceive. The outside world, true knowledge. The world outside the cave symbolizes true knowledge, the realm of forms in Plato's philosophy. These forms are the perfect, unchanging essences of things, beyond the limitations of our senses. The escape from the cave represents the journey towards understanding these forms, using reason and philosophical inquiry. The journey is continuous. It's important to note that Plato doesn't suggest the outside world is a fixed destination. Rather, it's a continuous process of seeking knowledge and understanding. The return to the cave, the responsibility of the philosopher. The returning prisoner facing ridicule represents the difficulty of sharing knowledge gained through reason. People clinging to their limited understanding might reject new perspectives. This highlights the responsibility of those who pursue knowledge to guide others out of the cave of ignorance. Plato's allegory of the cave continues to resonate with us today. It challenges us to question our assumptions, seek truth beyond appearances, and strive for a deeper understanding of the world around us. What are the caves in your own life? What shadows might you be mistaking for reality? Let's discuss this allegory and its meaning in the comments below. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of Plato's allegory of the cave. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more philosophical adventures.